Hello students. In this lesson, we will do our first lab in Logisim. In this lab, we will build a simple 8-bit adder. So let's start. In the lessons, we already derived the um, mathematical representation of uh, one bit adder, which was that we add A, B, and carry in, and we calculate uh, carry out and Q. So this is what we will build today. First, we will build one bit adder. To do it in Logisim, click uh, project, add circuit, and give a circuit a name, one bit adder, so that we know uh, where to find it. And here it is, one bit adder is inside our project. When we double click on it, we can draw the schematics of one bit adder. So let's do it. We will have inputs A, B, and carry in. Uh, inputs, uh, to put an input in schematic, you use this square box here. Um, when you put it on your um, drawing area, you can give it a name on the left side under label. So the first input will be A. When you move mouse out of this area, it saves the value or when you hit enter. So this next input will be B. Third input will be carry in. During the lectures, we also derived the mathematical arithmetic or logic uh, equations to calculate uh, output uh, bit Q as a sum of A, B, and carry in, and also for carry out. So let's uh, look at the equations. So here is the full uh, expansion of how we calculated it. We made this truth table with A, B, and carry in, and here is Q, the sum of A, B, and C, and carry out is the carry uh, for the sum. And so the equation to calculate Q is written here, and we, um, we changed the notation in such way that we only use NAND gates and NOT gates so that the processor works fast. Because as we studied, um, NAND, NOR, and NOT gates work very fast in processors. So let's create this equation for Q. So here we have inputs A, B, and carry in. And we also have output Q. So to put output, we put this round uh, item on our whiteboard. And the name will be Q, the resultant bit. So Q equals this equation and how to draw it easily, the easiest way probably is to just draw lines A, B, and carry in. And as we can see, in some places we use A, but in some places A with inversion. So we just put this not gate, which is here. And we also make this not a line, so we can make easy connections. The same goes for B. So the green line, dark green line is A, bright green line is A with inversion, which is the opposite of A, and same for B, and the same for C. And now uh, Q is NAND of four NANDs. So 
now we need to put four NAND elements to calculate each of these terms, each of these brackets. So don't accidentally put this AND gate. It's not the right one. You need to go to gates and select NAND gate and put it on your uh, drawing area. And now we need to configure it. By default, it has number of inputs five. We only need three inputs. As you can see, each of these brackets only has three terms inside. So we only need three inputs. And to make the drawing a little bit smaller, we can select gate size narrow so that it takes less space in our whiteboard. Next, we want to rotate it. To rotate it, we need to choose this facing and face it south. That makes the output look down like south on a map. And we need four such NAND gates because we have four um, multiplications here. To do it, I can just copy and paste like this. Now uh, the output Q needs to face north, so its connection point is facing up, so we can easily connect it. So let's go through this equation to calculate Q. So Q is not A, not B, and carry in. So first is A with inversion, next is B with inversion, and the third input for this NAND gate is carry in as here. Next, not A, yes B, and not carry in. So not A, B as is, and the not carry in. Then A, B, carry in, all of them without inversion. A, B, carry in. And the third one is A, not B, not C. A, not B, and not C. And now we need to um, flow these outputs through the final NAND gate. As you can see here, there is not, and the brackets are multiplied. So it's AND with inversion, which is NAND. So we again take NAND gate, put it on the screen. We select number of inputs, four. We can try to show it as narrow, but then you see it's, it's not looking very pretty. It has some lines, the four inputs don't fit. So here we will choose medium size. Then facing will be south because we want output to look down. And then we just connect all of these results into NAND gate, the final NAND gate, and its output connect to Q. And as we can see this way, simply and uh, easy to understand and to see, we can make a circuit that calculates Q from A, B, and carry in. Using this hand tool, we can simulate the schematic. We can go to simulate, see that simulation is enabled. If you have some errors, sometimes you can click reset simulation and the errors will go away. And we can test if uh, our calculator calculates the sum of these three bits correctly. So let's say we want, we have A is one, B is zero and carry in is zero. One plus zero plus zero is one, that's correct. Same goes for B and same goes for C. Now, if two bits are high, one plus one is 10 or one zero, so the output bit is zero and carry out should be one. So as you can see, Q is up. If we test it with other two inputs, it works the same way. And the third combination also works correctly. So Q is zero if two bits are set. And if all three bits are set, the result is one, one. So result and bit is one. This is how we make a simple fast adder 
to calculate the sum of three bits, A, B, and carry in.